Good morning or good afternoon, wherever you may be, or good evening or good night. This is Jen at Jen's Arty Inclinations, a place to create, share and play. Hello everyone. Look, I'm sharing some of the things that I created for a swap in my little Aussie group, which is Junk Journal Creative Swaps in Oz. Now I'll put all the links below for where we got the inspiration and so forth. This one, however, was a live that one of our beautiful members did for us. And so, yeah, this was one of the first little swaps. Now, you might remember I did a video myself on this ages ago. So there'll be a link at the top of the screen, hopefully in a sec. Otherwise, it'll be down below. And I really liked how she created this so that there were, you know, three picture options, but so that it had the pictures with the journaling space. Yeah, just really cute and clever and beautiful. She actually did a little chain on mine uh, to join it when it came through. But yeah, that was my first little swap. The next one that we did were these gorgeous little 11 pocket folios. So I oh, had a lot of fun putting this one together and it's got pockets and pockets and pockets. I think it was scrimping with mummy, but again, I'll have all the links below. She did a little paper bag in the demo. I just had that piece, so I used that. Inside, there's three little pockets here in a three pocket belly flap, which I was like, belly band, I should say. I was like, yeah, I'll definitely be doing that again. In the center, I had some little stickers so I just made this little library style pocket to pop the stickers in. I thought that was a bit cute. And then that just helps you so that you tie around it. And then on the inside, just three regular little pockets when we flip it out. And again, this was in a steampunk style because that was our theme. I believe it's vintage grunge for the next few months. So that should be a bit of fun because, you know, it's kind of what I do. And there you go. All the little vintagey pockets. The thing about swaps is you always worry about the quality of your own work and how it's going to be received because you know you're making it for someone else. But it's also important to remember that we're all making them together and oftentimes these little projects that the girls curate for us to put together, there's lots of different options each month. And you can do, you know, one or none, as, as little or as many. As long as you do one thing, I think, every three months, you know, you can still stay in the group for all the inspiration. But everybody has often done that for the first time. So we've all, even if you've done junk journaling for ages, this may be the first time that every single person in that group has come across that particular project. So yeah, it's new to everybody. So it's, you know, have a go, get brave, I keep saying to myself. Now, how cute are these? Little uh, altered playing cards with doors. So I did one with a really big one. And I have to say, I hated how fussy that one was to do with the little hinges because I thought they'd be gorgeous on all the cards. So the other ones, I did nice big hinges, like she did in the example. I didn't have little closures for them, so I just did little thumb holes, and I think they worked out so cute. It probably was a lot more fussing, not something I'll repeat again. So I love that about the swaps, that you get to enjoy the process of making it. But, you know, for me, that was a bit too fiddly to probably do a lot of and you watch now I'll do them constantly <laughs> all right so then we had these scrappy staggered booklets and they were from gorgeous treasure books and you just kind of decorate the pages that you see so you do a little something something on the edges and gosh I had a lot of fun just collecting all the papers and I wasn't as quick as what Natasha was doing her. She said, you know, she just found them really quick to do. I kept fussing and faffing. However, I did end up with a whole bundle of them. So yeah, really cute just to slip into a pocket. I've already used one. So there you are. They were my little makes this month. Hope you enjoyed and yeah, check out below for the links on the process. Take care, everyone. 
I'd love it if you could leave me a comment below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed what you saw today. And of course, please subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you next time. And in the meantime, keep creating. Enjoy.